Alright, so we've got some big names facing off with uh, Jordan up against MBL here, and we're here with the, uh, what is it, the Grand Melee Tournament, so thank you for tuning in. So Jordan's on Hindustanis, MBL is on Teutons, Teutons in the green, Hindustanis in the blue. Now apologies if I don't sound in the mood to cast this, because AoE 2 is quite literally the shittest codest AoE game. So, when actually trying to cast replays of this, because there has been a patch I had to use the DE Replay Manager. Now when trying to get the game to display in OBS, AoE 2 is already notoriously the hardest game in the series to actually get displaying in OBS. Because of the delay before OBS actually picks it up. Now throw in the fact that you've got to actually depatch the game because Steam will always force it to launch in the most recent version and on top of that it just takes forever because I've said delay issue and it's just an awful fuck around to actually get the stream going. But anyway, that aside now that it is midnight and I'm covering this when I should have been covering it at 10 o'clock, we have Jordan against MBL. We are on the DWL balance. So we're through to the second qualifier, but I believe both of our players have actually already qualified for the tournament by placing in the top three. I could be wrong about that, and I don't care either way, but I hope you enjoy the game. Fuck this mode is boring compared to um, Empire Wars. I don't really know about the tournament sponsors, but you don't, if you don't know who I am, I've done commentary for five different Age of Empires games at the top level. Yeah. I think I'm the only person who have done so. So thanks for tuning in. Hope you stick around, give me the viewership, because I fucking deserve it. I don't know why the screen's flickering, and I don't care. We got a barracks, the stables, our players aging up, MBLs age up a little bit slower because he's bad.
Again, I don't know why the screen's flickering all the fucking time. I wish it would stop too. If you're tuning in on YouTube and you're about to ask the question, don't fucking ask me why. I don't care. So MBL hasn't actually walled himself in. Looks like Jordan might be able to get away with some uh, scout cab harass here. Again, I wish the screen would stop fucking flickering for no god fucking damned reason at all. I go into a great deal of effort to try and get these fucking streams started and I just waste hours of my fucking time. I get minimal fucking viewership and the maximum criticism. So both our players turtling up because AoE2 always ends up just such a fucking totally boring ass game. Maybe I'll go for a bit of harass here. He's managed to find a little gap here in Jordan's wall. Might be able to pick off a villager or two here. I can't be the Tyler one of commentary. I can't know life hard enough, and I hurt my back, so even though I used to probably be more jack than him, I'm no longer anymore. And I'm not fighting through chronic pain just to fix that without steroids. Been through too much. like Jordan's cleaning up the harass here. NBL. Switch this ticker. NBL's put himself a villager ahead though. He has lost a couple of extra units for his troubles. And yeah, thanks for letting me know that, Max, that it's only actually flickering on my end. That's... Actually really nice to know, because it means I'm not just going to have to delete this VOD afterwards. Well, I mean, I might choose to because the commentary has been shit TM. But, yeah. So both our players are going to markets. Going to be able to exchange resources as they see fit. And I mean, Jordan's got for the blacksmith as well. I mean, both players have got enough production facilities. I mean, enough feudal facility so they could have gone straight to castle really so I guess it's just for NBL I guess the wall off and the changing resources and just for Jordan just the changing resources nice little shove here from Jordan NBL a little bit open on the front so he's gonna have to be a bit careful to not lose too many bills skirms don't deal a huge amount of range damage though it's not really until you've got like two or three archers that you gotta be careful of the ranged. Or, yeah, those scout cab try and actually dive. Ooh, that spear's gonna last a little bit longer than NBL would have liked, I think. Jordan's initial harass here, I think, is really paying off for him. Castle Age for MBL. Jordan's is half done. Range being added for Jordan while MBL 
He's got that double sta uh, double stables and he's going for that down center. Knights on the field for MBL. The Spears aren't going to last quite so long against them as they would against the Scout Cav. Now, Jordan's actually walled up this side properly. He's got the house there. Just careful to not overgather the wood there and chop down those outer trees. But, ooh, here at the backside, he's going to have to be careful with that. He's going to cut through all those trees either. Monk here. We're trying to go for this relic near his opponent's base because there's a lot of relics on this map. You can deny some of them over his opponent's side. Let me slow down that gold income because there's not a huge amount of saved gold on the map. Well, there's a little bit more than a normal map actually, I think, in terms of overall gold on the map, but it's not all that safe and all that efficient to gather. Space. Not able to find one. Jordan throwing down a third town center. And BL just on the two for the moment. So we lose these knights pretty quickly with that many cav archers there. So now MBL's going to have to play this pretty defensively. He is up by uh, six villagers over Jordan. He's starting to really trail on military count now to him as well. And the old say he's banking a bit of gold there, but it's actually transferred it to stone to get the town center. He's got his third town centre on the way. Should build just in time before these cavalry archers can really pick off too many villages. They might get one or two. And one of them does fall. But NBL now catching up in town centre count to Jordan. And he's still ahead by four villages from his harass, so that's been quite good for him. Jordan does have a slight kill value in his favour and a great number of cavalry archers on the map. It's only a small number of knights out at the moment for MBL, but it looks like he's trying to pinch as many relics as possible from around his opponent's base. He's even got this little proxy workshop, so eventually you can go for some Mangonels and try and splash and get a lot of villager kills there, or maybe have some cat rams later on. Try and push through and destroy a lot of buildings. If you notice his opponent's not got a lot of melee at the time. One scorpion's gonna be. I might do enough actually. They hit quite hard, and it's gonna take all the cavalry archers to focus it down. There is. Now a camel on the way in as well. Is Jordan grabbing relics now? No. Is MBL. Oh, he's having to defend as well. MBL. Two relics. Shh. 
This is an interesting place for the monastery over here. Oh, yeah. Jordan does have that one relic. I didn't actually... Oh, there's this monastery. At the moment, it does have the one relic in it. Jordan's got another one there. Put in it. MBL defending. A couple of mangonels. I mean, a couple of scorpions. This cavalry archer army is just growing and growing. Counts now starting to really favour MBL at the moment. So Jordan's vill production, I don't think it's been constant because I don't think he's actually dropped too many villages. Now he was only about four behind a little bit earlier. I think he's actually just gotten housed briefly there or something. And take out that monastery. Grab all these relics around his side of the map if you can. And beyond the meanwhile has snatch up those two relics. He looks to be grabbing some more over here. He wants to put another proxy monastery. Looks like Jordan's going to be able to snatch up another relic over his side. He's already up to three or four relics now. It's pretty nice work by him. Jordan trying to go for another hit squad. Come by with these cavalry archers, but he's actually got to pull back for a little bit. And try and clean up some of these knights. That's while they are supported with the scorpions. But we can take a fight into the camels. Namaste. Jordan having a distance gather a little bit there. Jordan's army size slightly bigger than uh, MBL's. Amazing how square the base layouts end up in this game. <laughs> the better you are as a player, the more your base layout looks like a bot by the end of the game. Things sort of slowing down now on players. We're looking to take Imperial Age. So MBL's buildings around Jordan's base being picked off. Grab an outpost over here. So just decide to go for a castle to guard this central stone. It'll pay off because that's more from the stone value of the castle. And I mean, you also zone all the wood around it too. So Jordan, so I'm creeping toward MBL's base. Now it's Jordan who's doing the relic snatching. Actually, there's a way to check relic counts on here. So MBL's up by one more relic than Jordan at the moment. But Jordan is bringing one back, dropping it off. Playing some really nice pressure out in the map there too. Snuck some of these golems into his opponent's base. Try and pick off a couple of villagers too. MBL is going to have to try and find some way to defend this. 
Cav Archers aren't going to be able to stick around forever against the Knights. They are going to be able to kite them pretty well. They can't really kite them indefinitely, I don't think. It's Imperial Age now for MBL. Jordans is on the way. MBL, a little bit ahead in the village account over Jordan at the moment. Jordan running a whole bunch of... Well, a small number of light cabs through his opponent's base just to make things a bit of a mess. Make it difficult for MBL to try and push into him. Okay, Jordan's Imperial Age kicking off and MBL might be able to catch the monk. Ooh, maybe not. Archers there to help defend. The monk going to go down before he's able to convert one of these calves. An upgrade, a really nice timing there. Heavy cavalry archer would be a little while away here for Jordan. Meanwhile, there is another skirmish going on over here with. Uh, Camel Riders of Jordan's really taking the fight to MBL's eco at the moment. Now MBL's villager lead is gone. They is locked up at 124 apiece. Jordan getting another keep. At home, so a, a castle at home. Maybe I'll stream everything across. He wants to look at mounting a crushing blow himself. Try and zone his opponent off a lot of stone and gold up towards the top side of the map. But it looks like Jordan's really gaining control over this right side of the map. Maybe not quite as much gold over as over here on the left side. But it's a little bit closer to our players' bases, so it's going to allow him to start pushing his opponent off all this wood. And then NBL sort of has to start working towards that top side. NBL, that's a nice castle because he's starting to really lock Jordan off. If he can get another one over here, he can really deny a lot of gold. And eventually his opponent, yeah, just has to try and worm his way around this side of the map. NBL. Finding his way in with an awful lot of Cavalier. But I think Jordan's got enough here to clean this up. He's got plenty of heavy camels now. Jordan harassing with some of his own light cav. And he's still harassing over the side with, with cavalry units. Maybe he'll trying to get as much stone as he can and that central part of the map because Jordan's been doing the same over here if we can afford a few more castles over their opponent here and really put them in a great spot take the pressure off them having to make perfect use of the trebuchets oh, castles catching a lot of the uh, cabs coming in Oh, and a nice build here for Jordan. He's really denied the Cavs from enroaching in on the base. So they will come through eventually, but not before copying a few more blows from the castle. So they are already quite low. And we're going to get a fairly minimal number of villages, I think. So. NBL is once again pulled ahead on the work account. Not by a huge amount. And so Jordan's kill value is actually quite a bit higher than uh, NBL's still. And the hand cannon is stacked up there. Gonna get some good shots off. They will eventually all fall too. NBL. Great pressure here, but the Halb's not going to be enough to take out the castle, I don't think. Decent. 
Maybe I'll... He's going to have to add some trebs of his own if he wants to keep pushing here because Jordan has some trebs to defend to try and work away at these castles. There's only a fairly limited amount of stone on the map, so our players need to work fast. The NBA was quite safe up here with this gold and this stone. And again, he's up by a relic. Which isn't huge. I mean, relic gold trickle in AoE 2 is quite slow compared to AoE 4. But, every little bit counts. Maybe only happen to wall off. I mean, castle off this side of the map. Try and get his trebs to work here, but the Hindu starting trebs got one range over his at the moment. Actually, there we go. So he's got siege engineers. He should be able to try and return fire here because he's going to lose a second castle. It's expensive MBL having to throw up all these castles constantly. One last ghoul I'm sneaking in from Jordan. the castle going down here from MBL. This time he does have the trebs to return fire. It's still another golem and some more. Light cav coming in to harass by Jordan. Over on this side he's also got some golem harassing. I think the trips are mostly going to fall here. It's an NBL. So desperately try and hold on to this castle, but does he have the stone to just repair through this, or is he going to lose another one? He's still losing some villagers over here. Well to maintain the fight over here on this right side though because he might just be able to save this castle he really needs to kill those trebs but what are they attacking I need to focus the I need to focus the trebs or he's gonna lose his castle and be able no it's costing him a lot of stone now he realizes, as he is just bleeding stone, he's got about 30 seconds to kill both those trebs. Well, over on this side, he's also trying to repair and fight through this. It's Jordan continuing to maintain an army on his doorstep, and he's also continuing to harass, delay a little bit of gathering here of NBLs. He's even doing a bit of harassing up the top there. Looks like the Trebs. And they get finished off. So NBL is safe on that right side, but over on this left side of Jordan's base. I don't know if the contain's working all that well. There's Jordan. This cheeky castle over here now. NBL needs to bring these guys back because they're not going to be able to finish off the castle. So he isn't going to want to lose those. Oh, actually, the castle doesn't have the murder holes upgrade. I take that back. He's fine. There we go, murder holes is done, so they've got to get out of there now. Looks like Jordan is continuing to creep forward now. Although, NBL has managed to save the monastery on this side, he's going to repair it as well, so very smart thinking. So, gold is going to slowly trickle out of there. Before, relics over this side, but if. Jordan can clean up on this left side, it really hurts MBL, I think. Camel's going to be able to pick off those trips. Not enough helps there to defend them at the moment. One of the trips going down, the camel's coming back. So 
Jordan still has a slight lead over MBL, I think. Although he is slightly down on village of population and slightly down on relic count. I think he can afford to be in this position because he's just trading so well in terms of his army value. about 50 army kills and I do feel like a lot of that is actually trash against knights or the knight line which are pretty expensive and I think he has also destroyed a couple more castles here of MBLs and those are definitely not cheap MBLs having lost uh, three or four castles here in the center and now that right side castle falls he's gonna throw up another one really quickly a lot of hand cannoneer here for uh, Jordan, so I don't know what else. NBL's going to have to add to his composition to really clean this up. He has got his paladin upgrade now though. More cavalry archers harassing the base of NBL at the moment, so this is great stuff for Jordan. He's closing that vill gap once again. Looks like another castle is eventually going to go down here. Might be just enough hand cannoneers so they can get through the paladins before all the trebs fall. Some paladins sneaking into Jordan's base. So NBL Nice harass here. Right, so we'll be able to kill some villagers here over on these farms. Yeah, more harass going on here from MBL. It's Paladins all over Jordan's base at the moment. Jordan continuing to push into MBL. He's taken out the town center and everything over this side at the moment. So this is really quite rough for MBL. Although he's really disrupting Jordan's economy in the meanwhile. Village accounts Favoring MBL by about 40 vils at the moment. This is really impressive. He's definitely got slightly more of the map up his sleeve at the moment, but he is going to lose those two relics he's been holding on to for most of the game. He's so trying to sneak a shot on the hand cannoneers, but they make it out of range. Looks like the camel's going to be able to clean up that Onaga. Right, it's not going to be able to stay against the Halbs. They're a nice anti-cavalry unit. Siege workshop's not going to last much longer. MBL once again. That's a deal with camels yeah. on this back gold mine. More camels coming past, but they are going to have to get out of there because there are some more halves. Try and clean that up. Eventually, I think, little by little, Jordan is slowly harassing NBL to death, even with village accounts really in favour of NBL. I don't know if he's actually able to keep them gathering long enough he, and he's you know having to constantly replace them to get on this number Jordan's got up to you know a bit over 100 villages and then sort of been like all right well you kill them and I'll I'll replace them eventually he's mostly been worried about replacing with army and now it looks like Jordan gonna be able to close the relic gap 
fact, no, he's already up in terms of relics, and he's going to really push that uh, advantage. May not be able to do much longer because there's now some paladins here. And NBL is going to try and steal back that gold. He still has control of pretty much all the gold left on the map at the moment, so... Jordan's having to be a bit sparing with the gold that he's got, but... Again, with that slight relic advantage... He's doing okay. NBL's really struggling for food at the moment, I think. Golems snuck in to this little side base here of uh, MBLs. Ooh, and that was a nice, very nice by Jordan to move that back that way because then it ended up splashing onto MBL's own paladins there. Jordan's now managed to find himself some more gold. He has held on to the gold over here on the right side. NBL's still got a little bit of gold up the top. And now he's the one that's really struggling for gold. So two less relics. It's going to be soon to be three, I think. There was another relic for him to grab there. MBL has no relics in his possession. So his gold income is really going to take a tumble. The gold village is here for Jordan being killed by MBL's Onigas. Ooh, that's going to hit some of MBL's. Yeah. Jordan's going to have to try and figure out a way to take out these Onigas without splash, kill what he's got. MBL, I'm going to try and defend all around his base still. Is going to get a nice shot off there. Killing a couple of hand cannon here, damaging some more. Not a good shot. It's going to get taken out by the camels. Jordan's going to be able to force MBL off this gold. There's not very much left of it down to the last 50 gold there. And there's another 240 over this side of the map. MBL replaced the monastery. But 7 to 4 on relics. So Jordan is really starting to creep ahead with the relic gold generation. Maybe I'll still have to try and clean up some harass back in his base. Now, MBL's going to try and go for a raid of his own. He wasn't gap there. Very sneaky. The L streaming forward with everything he's got, seemingly. I don't know what he's got left in the tank here. Gold is looking really skint. Push Jordan off this town center over here on the right side, but I think he's going to lose this fight over here on the top left side in response. Villager counts just favoring MBL at the moment. Bank resources really favoring Jordan. So I'm going to 
try and quick wall with some houses here. This is going to be tough for him to trade with cavalry. He does have a couple of hand cannon here, and I suppose. Doesn't necessarily have to take the fight, it's just more save himself some time here for the moment. The hand cannon here being brought in to try and clean up these four. Might end up being worth it there for Jordan. And Pierre going to try and harass once again if he can. Base. So impressive, he's taking so much of the map, and it's just not enough. Jordan's defend and push has been phenomenal here. going to get a really nice shot off there. He's got a couple of kills. Just get picked off. Everything, every time I think NBL's down without a count, looks like he finds some way back into this game, but now this is starting to look a bit dicey for him. He's going to bring a lot of the scout cavalry in. So scout cavs handful of paladins against the mixed army of Hussar and the hand cannoneers. This might not go so well for him. I think Jordan might finally have done it. Oh no, I take that back. Jordan being repelled there. be ever the pest. Jordan still harassing the fields with uh, MBLs. by uh, Jordan. NBL's Monastery and Siege Workshop under a bit of threat. Looks like Jordan might have done enough to turn this fight around. He's actually bringing in all of his villagers because he's just going to try and focus down... Oh no, he's just going to add a castle. I was going to say he's going to try and focus down the Monastery with them rush up the castle and MBL has no time to try and evacuate the relics out of this monastery get them out of here so all these structures are now really pretty much forfeit and from the right side MBL is pushing himself but GG well played is the call